For the vast majority of patients who have a suspected diagnosis of ovarian cancer, we usually start with surgery first. The treatment options really depend on a couple different factors. One is how successful the surgery was at the time of diagnosis. Your initial surgery is, is the most important surgery, and the goal is to remove all visible or, or um, gross tumor uh, that's possible. And patients who at the end of their first surgery that have no visible disease, no uh, known cancer cells, they have the best outcomes, even if it's advanced stage, stage three or four. Uh, the next step for most patients, again, is chemotherapy. For patients who've had uh, what we call an optimal surgical uh, removal of, of all the disease, those patients seem to do best when you deliver chemotherapy both intravenously through the vein and also a combination of intraperitoneally where a catheter delivers chemotherapy into the abdominal cavity. Patients who have suboptimal uh, surgery or maybe more disease left at behind in surgery are offered the next most standard uh, treatment is what's called dose-dense uh, taxol and, and carboplatin chemotherapy or uh, a potential for a, a clinical trial. Minimally invasive techniques for ovarian cancer are still a little bit in their infancy. Most traditional uh, uh, surgical treatment of ovarian cancer involves an open uh, surgery because that seems to, right now, provide the best outcomes. So I think uh, one of the most important uh, newer class of agents that uh, will be hopefully available for our use soon in ovarian cancer is called the PARP inhibitors. One of the problems with ovarian cancer is um, that although most patients after surgery and chemotherapy will be what we call disease-free, so no evidence of the cancer, most patients will experience a recurrence within one to three years after their initial uh, remission. PARP inhibitors offer a um, potentially less cytotoxic therapy um, and a potential for what we call maintenance therapy where patients can go on a treatment for a prolonged period of time that will prevent their recurrence. We here at the SCCA actually have several clinical trials. We just completed a clinical trial um, looking at chemotherapy uh, with the, one of the PARP inhibitors, and it shows a lot of uh, promise in ovarian cancer patients. So I think the PARP inhibitors hopefully will be the next line of drugs that will be available for, to patients with ovarian cancer, but we're still um, undergoing the necessary clinical trials to show that they're effective and safe.